y'all it's Jen I hope you're doing well welcome back if you're new here I love making videos about a lot of eclectic things mixed media junk journaling creative journaling uh, art using inexpensive materials if that's your kind of thing I welcome you to subscribe and like this video today's project I'm so excited about I'm going to show you how to make all these textures using inexpensive tissue paper from Dollar Tree and believe it or not Dollar Tree cheap paints i'm talking about the prang paints the huge bottles of paint the tempera paints that a lot of little kids use in schools they are eight ounces so i created these beautiful papers and effects using their paint and just a little bit of regular white acrylic paint these tissue papers can be used as backgrounds in your art journaling, or like I did today, a background in my junk journal for memory keeping. They're so easy, they're so fun, relaxing, and just beautiful. So if you wanna see the process, stick around. You're gonna have a fun time. Let's do it. So I'm starting out with my junk journal. You can see I'm so proud of it, the little alien girl on the cover. I printed out some photos from the weekend. Uh, we spent a lovely day at the beach on President's Day. This is the tissue paper you can get from Dollar Tree. Now those hearts and the yellow is in a small pack, but look at this huge pack. 24 sheets and then 35 sheets in that one. And, they're just, and then 35 sheets in the white. And the white is the one we're gonna be painting on. It There's there's so much tissue paper. If you hold it, it's so heavy. It's like the weight of a baby, a newborn baby. I can't find tissue paper like that at Walmart. And that's all we have in my town um, is Walmart and Dollar Tree. So uh, I'm gonna start by grabbing the white and I'm gonna cut it in half to you know, make it more manageable for me, like make it into sheets. I'm gonna experiment with some acrylic gesso from Walmart and some apple barrel white paint. I have a feeling that mixing the tempera paint with the regular acrylic paint is gonna make it a little more, um, uh, let's, what's the word, opaque, opacity. So right now I'm just testing the actual tempera paint alone by itself, and I, it's not very bad. I think it works well with this tissue paper um, because when you go to do your art, you're gonna get a transparent look, uh, especially when you're making layers on your collage. So I think that this tempera paint is awesome for that because it's already a little transparent anyway. Uh, so I tested that out a little bit just to warm up and get started. And now I'm adding the gesso uh, in it a little bit. It light, it definitely lightens up the um, paint. I just learned today that you can use clear gesso. And it's a lady I've been watching from South Africa. Her name's Claudia. I can't rem remember her last name, but I will definitely link her video. Um, might want to try adding some clear gesso so the color doesn't change. Um, so right now I'm just experimenting with adding that I created this purple uh, just doing some simple color mixing that's like a kind of a nice brown color right now I'm just warming up like I said um, I added uh, white acrylic paint to this and I'm getting more of a pastel color and I just took a dry brush and I'm just kind of rubbing some of the pink on top of that Oh, I love this. I love this color. I call this rusty purple. It's a purple that's leaning on towards the red side of the uh, color wheel. It is my absolute favorite color. I don't know if there's another word for it. <laughs> so I absolutely love that color. And I got that from mixing all these tempera paints and the acrylic white paint. So I absolutely love it. So right now I'm trying to make some pattern pages with the tissue paper. I think this is gonna look awesome once you start layering it up with other t colored tissue paper and other patterns. And yeah, again, I'm just mixing that white acrylic bottle. And I think that bottle is about a dollar at uh, Walmart. I know the little bottles are 50 cents. So this is very inexpensive uh, as far as making little backgrounds for your junk journals or your art journals totally affordable. Uh, tempera paint is used a lot in schools to teach kids about color mixing, but why can't we do it? I mean, if you don't remember what you learned from school, get these, test them out. You can be so generous with it. There's so much paint in these bottles. Uh, right here, I just, just tried to get a nice yellow. I was trying to look for a more ochre color like this one. 
um, but I still loved it. It's a beautiful pastel. So this is now the acrylic paint at Dollar Tree and it is more opaque. It's a beautiful ochre or mustard yellow color. And now I'm testing out putting some orange tempera paint with that. Eh, not much of a difference, but just experimenting. And, and I'm loving the results so far. I took my tissue paper and I hung it on a laundry rack. A few days ago, I shared this in my stories, what it looks like, but I carefully um, hung the little tissue papers over the laundry rack for them to dry. You have to be very careful because they will, they're, they're pretty sticky. Um, but uh, they, I, I, you know, ripped a few of them, but not too many. This tool I got from Dollar Tree, I'm using a little bit of the tools that I got, and you can see me using these in my Texture Hunter series. So you're welcome to scroll back in my catalog and see that video, it's really fun. I just feel like this is so like spring, it's so Eastery. <laughs> I, I just love these colors I, I made. I love pastels anyway, bright pastels. Uh, I don't know what you guys think but uh, I'm loving these colors so far. And I just, you know, it's a lot of paint for very little money. So I'm super excited about that. I got this beautiful purple and just make different marks. Now I grabbed a bubble, a piece of um, bubble wrap and I'm pulling it away to take away some of the paint. So you can see there were some subtle bubbles in what I got. This is another tempera paint. It's in a different bottle. And I really lo love the color. And here again, you can see it's transparent because it's a tempera paint. And I actually like the, the results. It's gonna be perfect, like I said, with layering tissue paper. I added back that bubble wrap from the previous uh, paper and I got the purple uh, bubbles on it. So yeah, I'm just, you know, layering up different colors. I'm using a dry brush to get this effect. So definitely try to use two different colors and you'll get a really cool paper. And I want to know what you guys think. Uh, if you're liking these projects, please, you know, come on, give me a comment. Throw me a like here and there once in a while. You subscribe, okay? Yeah, I freaking love this color. These two colors made out, produced a baby, and this is what happened. <laughs> I added like the magenta acrylic and then this like bright fuchsia rock and roll tempera paint and i got this color and i freaking love it it's so rad it's so bright but yeah throw me a bone give me a like do a subscribe because i'm trying to pump out some videos i really love interacting with people in this way um yeah i just love spending time with you guys and like reading your comments and i love watching your videos as well yeah, so here I took some regular white acrylic paint, the big bottle of apple barrel paint. You know, that's a little more opaque and I added some more little marks. I'm taking the colored tissue paper now and again, cutting those down into manageable pieces because I realized I forgot to get blue paint, the blue tempera paint. So I really need something to go with the beach theme that I'm creating. So I'm grabbing the mint green and the little robin egg blue tissue paper and I'm going to make marks on those. And for this I use the fan brush and I'm kind of um, trying to suggest waves and movement in those papers. But let me know, have you guys ever done anything with this? I've seen collage artists use just plain tissue paper to make beautiful uh, images like with flowers. And this is some drywall tape. It's very sticky. I would be very careful using this. Um, so I wanted to see if I can get any more, you know, textured effects on here. And I used a brush so you can see in the, some areas it's really thick, but I still got some marks. If I were to do it again, I would use a sponge or a dauber. You know, it's like the paint can be used in certain circumstances. If you were to make a painting, you know, like a landscape, of course you might not want to use a tempera paint because you're going to have to do tons of layers and it's very, very transparent. But for this purpose, it's perfect. And if you want the opaque, the opacity look, just add the clear gesso or some white acrylic paint.
I'm using a little sponge dauber I got from Dollar Tree and just making polka dots. So here's my final flip through of all the papers. I just love them and I made a spread with them already. Just stick them in a pocket to keep them. Uh, put them with your other scraps. Use them as a base for journaling cards uh, before you add on collage images. Uh, put them in a background um, and then put your pictures on top. You could probably even write on top of these if you have the correct pen, like a felt marker or a gel pen or something like that. Now I'm gonna let you guys just sit back and chill to see the rest of the papers. And then I'm gonna move on and show you how I use them in my journal spread. So unfortunately, I was happily journaling and using these collage sheets and I get up when I got to a stopping point and I realized it wasn't recording, but uh, I'm going to do my best to show you how I finish up the spread and I'm going to give you some close up shots of what the layering looks like uh, for the collage. So I'm sure I'm going to be making a lot of videos in the future regarding collage because I just, it's my favorite art medium. So just, you know, stay tuned and you'll get to see the process again. Here I made a little flip out envelope and so I'm kind of showing you a little bit of the process uh, where I layered up the tissue paper a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, I laid down a map first as a, a background and then I layered some blue and some mint papers over that, the ones with the waves. And of course I needed more color, so I added the hot pink uh, and then the little rusty purple with the ochre polka dots on there. And I'm using an Uhu glue stick. I've used so many glue sticks and I'm just sick of it. I've used so many different glues and this is just the best glue. Um, it's really dry, so it doesn't um, wrinkle the paper very much, so it doesn't have like a lot of water in it. I usually use Fabri-Tac because that doesn't make the pages wavy, but um, that becomes like a mess because you want all the edges to stick down and um, it kind of like bleeds out the, the glue and it gets all over your hands and it's, it's just a mess, but that's also a good glue. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing the finishing touches on this. I put little brads in my pictures so that you could see um, the textured textures of the barnacles and the bark and the trees. Um, but uh, I didn't have really room for them, so I kind of put them behind the girls' pictures. And then I slipped a couple more pictures in that fold-out envelope. So yeah, put the finishing touches, put a little bit of black marker around just to connect everything together. That sun sticker is from a, a Cat Collage Club or A Better Day Boutique. I love her stickers. And these rub-on uh, stickers are from Dollar Tree as well. And what I will say is it's, I don't see a lot of these stickers or rub ones at Walmart. And again, I'm operating from a place where I only have a couple stores in my area. I'd have to drive 45 minutes to go to Michael's or, you know, Joann's, that kind of thing. So it, they are really beefing up their stickers and rub on images. So I would definitely check it out. They're all like already making like Tim Holtzy type stuff. Um, I'm making lines so that I can write on my journal and I got that idea from Lydia at February and June. So this is what I got. I'm going to give you a close up shots of the tissue paper and how it looks. You got to be really careful when you're shopping out Dollar Tree now because the prices have risen. I'm so sad about that. You can get the Apple Barrel bottles for about 50 cents at Walmart. So if you do the math, like Walmart is still kind of cheaper. 
but um, if you're going to Walmart and you're not seeing the colors that you like, you can use Dollar Tree as a backup because like I said, this bright magenta, I absolutely love that. And I haven't seen that color in an apple barrel paint. So you gotta be careful with uh, price com comparing now, but definitely the tissue paper is a awesome deal there as well as these rub on transfers. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I love you. I am so appreciative of your comments. I want you to stay creative because you know you are, and I want you to remember that you're loved. And I am so grateful for your support, comments and likes and everything. So thanks again. Love you guys, bye.